Hey there, teachers. This is Mackenzie Haas, and I am going to teach you how to cutesify your Canvas homepage. So first, what you want to do is open up Microsoft PowerPoint. First, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to delete everything. I would like to start with a completely blank slate. With your Canvas homepage, you can play with the size that you want to make your homepage. I like to do eight inches by four inches. So first I'm going to go to design. I'm going to go over and click slide size and say custom slide size. So I want eight inches for the width and four inches for the height. Now you could play with that. I usually would keep it at eight inches wide. You might want it just a little bit shorter in your height, but you can play with that. You can just choose maximize and then here's my blank slate. The first thing that I need to do is decide what color background I want to use. Now, when I say background, you cannot just right click and choose format background. You actually have to put in or insert a shape and change the color of that shape. So I go to the insert tab, shapes, and then I'm going to draw a rectangle on top of this. It's gonna come blue. I want to make this one black. And we can just choose black, make sure that your outline is the same color. Now I have a black rectangle on top. I did not just make my background black. It will not work when you save the image. Okay, now I want to get into my design of this. Now I have saved a few things that I would like on my design. I have a crayon border. I'm using this from a digital scrapbooking file that I have had for years. Um, and I am bringing this in. I want to make this a little bit smaller so that I can have a border going along the bottom. And I'm going to right click on it, choose copy, and then I can do control V for paste. I'm gonna put that right next to that one. And I'm gonna do control V again for paste. So I have three of those going across. So I can even select each of them all together by holding the control button as I click each object. And I'm going to right click, group those together. The reason I group them is so then I can just make them the size that I want and they're all together. Wonderful. I will move this like so. There's my border on the bottom of my page. Now, because you notice that some of this is hanging off, I wanna make sure that I get it all the way on. Otherwise, when I save it as a JPEG, it's going to save that extra on the side. Now, let's say that I had a little bit extra going off. I could actually crop this. I can um, click on the object and then up at the top on the picture format tab, I can do crop and I can crop this over by sliding these black lines there so that when I save it, it will not save that last pink crayon that was on there. Okay, so now I've got my border down there. I'm going to add in my Bitmoji because who doesn't like a, your Bitmoji on your Canvas homepage? Now I want my Bitmoji, Bitmoji picture to be behind the crayons. So I'm going to send it backward. So now it's behind my crayons. I wanna make this a little bit bigger, but I don't want my feet to be hanging off the bottom. So again, I'm going to hit this crop button and bring that that way. Now I'm also, as I've got it cropped, I'm gonna also crop off this extra stuff on the side so that when I save my image, it does not have blank space for my image there. I hit the crop button again. There's my Bitmoji. Now I need to add in my title, insert some text. So I go to home, oh, I excuse me, insert. I always go to shapes and then a text box here. So I'm going to draw out a text box. I always like to center it. I am going to be using a 
Um, we'll just choose this font, APL Type A Teacher. I did purchase this font. Let's see, we've got Mrs. Haas. Oh, you can't see that because it's black. I need to change that color. Let's change it to white. I'm gonna use a little bit bigger font there, okay? Mrs. Haas. And then I'm going to add a new text box. I'm gonna leave that that way. I'm gonna add another text box and to do that quickly, I just control C to copy this box, control V. Now I have a new text box. I know it says Mrs. Haas, but I want this to say third grade. And I like this to be in all caps. Now I'm going to use a bigger font. Yes, I have a font problem. Let's use the type A teacher instead of the type B teacher. Now I like this to really stand out. So I'm going to make this font a lot bigger than my name. Then because I love rainbow colors, I am going to choose a different color for each letter. Now, the cool thing is about choosing a font color, I can use this eyedropper tool so it'll match exactly the crayons that I have down below. So I want purple and then I'm going to do the next one and I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool. And now I have that blue and now eyedropper again, let's use the green. I'm going in order because I love having some rainbow color on there. Eyedropper yellow. And we're gonna go ahead and get all of your colors chosen for this. Red, pink. And now I already have this one saved, purple, blue, and green. Okay, now that I have my rainbow colored uh, grade level title there. I'm actually going to copy this. I'm going to paste it, control V. Now I have the same thing twice. Now this is just a way that I make it a little bit more cutesified, if you could call it that. I am going to go to the shape format if I'm selected on this font and I click shape format at the top. I am going to get rid of the text fill on this layer. I'm going to say no fill and I want to choose a white outline. I wanna make that outline have a bigger weight. So I wanna make it, let's do one and a half to really make it stand out. And then I like to just kind of offset this. Using my arrow keys, I can offset that to really make that stand out a little bit more. So Mrs. Haas, third grade, and I usually like to put a little tagline in here. So I'm going to, create another title or another text box and I just copied that one and I'm gonna move it down. I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller because this is my tagline and this is something I have hanging in my classroom that today is a great day to learn something new. I want to make that tagline just a little bit smaller using this and I can move that down. And there we have my Canvas homepage. And now in order to save it, I am going to hit Control A. It will select all of the layers on this slide. Then I will right click, make sure you're right clicking on one of the lines that you can see, right click and do save as picture. When I save this picture, I'm going to just give it a name, Canvas homepage, and I'm done with my homepage. Now that you've created your header for your Canvas homepage, check out my next video where I will teach you how to make your own customizable buttons for your Canvas homepage.